Oh yay! Welcome back. So today I'm going to share about how you actually customize your cursor and some actually most basic function you must know in Unity. Okay, let us kick start the lessons. Okay, so you can actually get these images through the YouTube video below the link. Okay, at the notes part there, you can actually get these images for testing. Okay, so let us go back to Unity. Okay, so how we actually put that images, right? Um, for better arrangement, you can actually create a folder actually. Okay, let's, let's create a folder. Maybe I just put cursor. Yep. Okay, click inside. Now go back to this folder. Okay, maybe I just put everything. Okay. Yep. So that's easy to actually import your image in Unity. Okay. So right now, I want to actually do a very simple one. When I hover on this frogs, it will actually change to hands on. By default, the mouse cursor should be hand off. Okay, there's something that you have to take care of is actually um, the cursor texture type. So let's say this is a cursor that I want to use later. So the texture step I have to change to cursor. If not, it will be image. Okay. So apply. If not, it will be having some warning from Unity side. Okay. After we apply, okay. So I will actually use uh, probably I set this as a button. Because later on you will have hover, click, okay. So imagine this frog is just a button. So put this edo inside here, set native size. If you actually follow me, the YouTube videos, it for the UI button, you will actually learn about the button side. So at this part, I will be quickly going to that. Okay, maybe this one I call it as frog button. Okay, so how we actually do this cursor, right? Hmm, kind of right now, if we just play it, nothing will happen. Nothing, right? So for this one, there's a very default way that you can actually do will put in this uh, cursor. You can actually go to file, build setting, okay, player setting. You will see this default cursor, okay. So let's say I put this as default cursor. Okay. So if I play, cool. Right, you already set it to default cursor. And it's actually working on your game scene only. If you go outside, it will change back to your window cursor. Okay. So that's how we actually change the default cursor. But let's say if I want to hover on it, and it will actually change the this hands-on cursor, we need code to do it. Okay, so you go to your scripting, for script folder, create a script, C sharp script. Maybe this one I call it a uh, customize cursor. Okay. Mm, click inside this. Double click to open this script. So after you actually open up your script, okay. So firstly, we must actually define uh, who is your cursor image, right? So, but 
it's very spatial compared to images. For the cursor, just now we changed to the cursor for the texture type, right? So right now, in the code, we actually call it texture 2D. We didn't call sprite or images here. Okay. So let's say, let's say, right? Um, I did not did not actually change the default cursor just now. Basically, I can get this and at the start, okay, set the cursor, set cursor. This is a function that inside you need to have it already, right? Okay, so set what cursor? So default cursor. We set the default cursor at vector two dot zero, so it will exactly at the center point of your cursor. So cursor mode dot auto. So this one, um, I think if you didn't put, it's okay as well. So I just normally follow the Unity documentation. I will just put it. Okay. So let's say save this one. Control S to save this script. Okay, just now I share the easiest method. Now is I use the script method. Okay. Hmm. What is this? Okay. So there's some error with me here. Okay. So just now I type typo, type wrong already. So if I just get these classes, so it should just cursor dot set cursor. Save it. Then it should be fine. Okay. So let's say just now, right? I actually didn't set the Build setting player setting this cursor, I set it to none. Right? It will actually happen now, right now. Yep. It, it will just back to the normal just now that we have because I have the script, but I haven't put in into the hierarchy. So let's say I create an empty game object just to hold my script. Okay, maybe I call it script holder. Okay. So I put my script here. Then if I just told you who is the default cursor, once we actually declare as a public, it will be happen, it will be just appear in inspector here. So you can actually drag who is the cursor you want to refer to here. So by default I want to set it to hand off. Okay, then play it. This will happen the same like how I actually put in the player setting just now. Okay, this is the second method. You choose your own method to use it. Okay. Mm. Right now, let's say I want to hover on it and then it will actually change that cursor, right? Mm. But my button that's only on click, which means I click, then this will be happen. But how about if I want to use hover? You can actually use it instead of like just changing this transition. Okay, there's another there's another thing that you must know. I can actually add a component called event trigger. Okay, this event trigger will help you on different type of methods. Okay, so try to click on this, add new event type. There's a pointer ender, pointer exit, pointer down, pointer ups, pointer clicks. Definitely there's a differences, but today I'm just going to share about pointer enter and pointer exit. Okay, so pointer enter is actually hover. Okay, click on this. Mm, then you will have a list. So with this list, you can actually put your function. So talk about the function you have to actually go back to the scripting part okay how we actually make the pointer enter it's actually very easy okay public 
boy. Mm, point. Maybe I just call it pointer and turn to button. Yep. Okay. Okay. Then what happened here? We can actually set the cursor. Okay. Okay. So when we hover, is that I want to set to T4? No, right? I actually want to set to this one, hands on. But how do the script actually knowing I actually wanted to referring to the hands on? Okay, so here you have to define it. Up, so they will actually know it. So texture to the hands on cursor. Yep. Or I want to make clear you can actually name this as hands off cursor as well. But I will just keep it like this. Okay. Is that okay? So when you have this, save the script. Mm -hmm. Come back to this pointer and the. I actually want to assign the function just now. So it's actually the same as the on click. Okay. Click plus. Okay. None object. Where is our script? It's in the script holder okay now i will drag this script holder to here cool so you actually find your customized cursor is your script name class name right so that that is the function that we are referring pointer enter to button click on that so when you play it aha uh -huh. just look at this how way how come become this? Mm. And it didn't show you any error, right? Should be something wrong with our script. He cannot get that particular hands-on. Who is a hands-on? None. Then you just set back to default. Okay? So we have to refer him who is a hands-on image. Just drag it. It should be working right now. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh -huh. But when I hover inside, it changed to the hands-on already. But when I go out from the curse from the images, right? It didn't change back to the default one. How to do it? Because we just set to pointer enter. There's another one called pointer exit, which means you exit from this images for your pointer, then you will actually react with that function. So, okay, pointer exit. But do we want to use back the same? No, right? We should actually have another function to set it back to the default one. Okay. So here I will have another one pointer exit from button. Okay. So here, here it should be exactly the same with this. Huh? Yeah, because set back to the default one. Save it. Cool. Then remember to change this function. If not, it will just doing pointer enter. You just doing pointer enter. Okay. Change to pointer exit from button. Okay. Play and test it out. Okay, cool, right? Yeah, okay. So remember to save your scene. I already make it as a habit. Sometimes I just press Ctrl S, Ctrl S all the way. Okay, so uh, save in the scene folder. You can just save it as a customized cursor or you can 
or mouse cursor anything okay as long as you know it hmm then how about if actually I want to change this when I click and then change to this when I hover change to this okay if you remember if you actually do the UI button you will know something called spread swap okay. go to spread swap that's a highlighted one okay and that's that's a click one okay. let us test whether it's work or not play go cool. working okay, right yep okay if you actually don't want to use this, you can actually use a script. You can actually use a script, click and then change the images. It's workable as well. Okay. Hope you actually enjoyed this video. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.